Tina's doing her dance. John's looking for romance. I know it. I saw it's there. I can, um... Can you start playing that record again? Find somebody else to talk about. You can't speak it. I have to sing it. Hi, I'm Rachel Stevens, and I'm playing Trials and Tribulations with Cosmo UK. So in this game, I'll be answering questions about my life and my career. So let's see how many I can get. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. How many people? Um, I'm just gonna take a wild guess because I would have absolutely no clue. I would say 200. That's a lot actually. What? 10,000 people, my God. Oh, how many number one singles did we have? We had Never Had a Dream Come True, Don't Stop Moving, Reach, mm. um, and Bring It All Back. Oh, it was Have You Ever, okay. Yeah, reach, yeah, through me a bit. I have a few different favorites, but I'd say Don't Stop Moving and Never Had a Dream Come True. Mm. 2001. God, we loved, I loved touring so much. It was just the best time. I just remember loving every minute of it. It was amazing. Oh, that would have to be Never Had a Dream Come True. I actually loved those outfits because it was made a change. We were always either in a bikini or we were, I used to wear flares and crop tops a lot. So it was nice to have a change and do something different. And I loved that song so much. I mean, it was always one of my favorite songs to perform on tour. And yeah, it was just lovely. It was really the whole sort of theme of it, the Christmassy feel and yeah. Tina's doing her dance. John's looking for romance. Paul's getting down on the floor. I don't know why I'm singing it. <laughs> While Hannah's screaming out for more. I wanna see Bradley swing. Wanna see Rachel do her thing. Then you got Joe, she got the flow. Get ready everybody, cause here we go. <laughs> it just all flowed, didn't it? It was, it was all rhyming, yeah. Um, but it was all, it all made sense, I think. It all sort of suited our different characters. We did uh, Miami 7, LA 7. We did two in LA. We did one in Barcelona. So four TV shows. Um, one movie, we did two short movies. Back to the 50s and um, oh my god. What was the movie called? Anyone? Oh, see, da, 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 Seeing Double. So, Boyfriends and Birthdays, yeah. Uh, LA7, Miami7. Don't Stop Moving. That was a moment. I mean, the Brits is so iconic. Um, and that would, I, w I would say collectively, one of our favorite songs as a band. So that was a really special moment. Did I wear, oh my God, it was awful if it was. Did I wear a bright, luminous yellow, why would I do that in the first place? Dress that was all cut out. That was a fashion faux pas for sure. But you know, we live and learn, so, you know, I. I Went into the band when I was 19, so I was definitely experimenting with my fashion. Um, so yeah, being in a band through that period was definitely uh, interesting. I mean, I've always loved fashion. I thought my career path would be in fashion. So it's just been an absolute dream to design this collaboration with Oasis. Um, but I would definitely say my style is more classic, but with a little bit of a, an edge to it. No more Illuminous Yellow. No Illuminous Yellow. I'd whisper before I shout. K. 
Can you stop? No, hang on. You, it's so weird to say it. Can't you stop playing? No. Can you stop playing that record again? Find somebody else to talk about. You can't speak it. I have to sing it. Oh, the red ribbons with all my gorgeous dancers. They were incredible. That time was so exciting. Just coming from S Club and then doing my first single, which I absolutely loved, and working with the choreographers, and so fun. It was uh, not fame, it was, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, I know it, I saw it's there, I can, um, flash dance. No, it wasn't that one. Ah, oh, what a feeling. Yeah, yeah. I remember Vincent just throwing me around. I literally remember that was the, one of the most crazy, he was like, right, let's just throw everything in it. Um, so yeah, I remember just being in the air a lot and spinning. I always loved the really sort of either dramatic, passionate dances or the romantic, like the waltz. And so that was more sort of, or the rumba. Um, so it was a bit of a chaotic dance for me. But you know what, it was, it was such an amazing experience to do all the different dances and that was just throwing everything and the kitchen sink into it, you know. What did we say? I don't know if we said anything. I think it was just a um, lightning bolt. Wasn't it? I can't remember. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like as if that's gonna help me. Yes, yes, yes. United we stand, divided we fall, yeah. I used to love performing our songs in the show. That was always amazing because we'd do it at night and we loved performing. That was our like favourite thing to do, but I can't think of a favourite. There were so many. Ooh. I, it's not, but I would say can't get you out of my head. No way. That is a tune. I never knew that. This is stuff that, I mean, how can I not remember that? Um, remember Marvin and, oh God, Marvin and, oh, I can't remember. The Paradise Hotel, of course. How can I forget that? Uh, well, my kids have watched some of them, but they're very, my kids are quite unimpressed with my, uh, they're like, yeah, whatever, mum. No, but saying that, I'm joking, they love the music so much, so. Um, they're big fans, really, but no, I haven't. I mean, I haven't seen it for so long. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. I feel like I did okay. There was a few that I can't believe I forgot just so many years ago now, but yeah, overall, I think I did okay. Thank you so much for watching. You can now shop my new collection with Oasis.